Chloe Sevigny, who you were involved in a relationship with uh, for, I don't know, quite a few years. So she was, I guess maybe you would say, your muse for quite a few years. Uh, you met her uh, uh, in the park, or you knew her before? <laughs> I mean, I met her in the park. In the park? <laughs> <laughs> it was by this year. And all. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. Like, you knew her before, it, like, it was because of you, she was a friend of yours or you were in a relationship with her that she was cast yeah, in yeah, the yeah. film. Yeah, just like the others. I mean, I, I, we didn't cast her till we were going to uh, use, like, try to use an actress. Uh, I was going to try to get Bette Midler to play the part. Get <laughs> out. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be funny. No, but... Uh, <laughs> that was the musical version. <laughs> yeah. Kids. Um, but we were trying to find an actress... And uh, there was actually, before that, we had cast this girl from Canada. Uh, but, uh, Who? Something, I, An unknown, unknown? or Mia Kirshner was her name. Oh. Um, okay. And uh, something happened. It just didn't work out. And, <laughs> uh, so, uh, and was Rosario Dawson uh, already... No, Rosario, it was funny. That was, an, again, like a week before. I was, walk, I was with Larry. We were walking down. We were uh, scouting locations in Lower East Side. And... Uh, I saw this girl on a stoop. Like, I just saw her just sitting there. I think she was eating a banana or something. And, um, and I thought she had really great star potential. And uh, <laughs> so we, we called her in. It wasn't Schwab's drugstore? No, okay. But, huh? anyway, nobody gets that reference. OK. Um, so that was her film debut as well, yeah. and Chloe. Yeah. So that was like it was, a, it was it literally yeah. it was everyone's. I mean, every everybody. Everybody's debut. Everybody's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, including the dentist. Yeah, that's um, great. And uh, so with, uh, uh, I'm curious about also your relationship with Larry because you've had sort of a uh, up and down kind of relationship. Uh, you know, during the making of the movie, it was like, was it a, like a real collaborative kind of thing? And was it difficult, like, because you hadn't directed a film at that yeah, point, yeah, yeah. but did you feel like you wanted to be directing it or? No, or, you know, it's weird. It's like he uh, hadn't directed a film. Yeah. Either. And also, to be honest with you, like, I would have never written that movie had it not been for like, it wasn't a movie that I was dying to tell. Like, you know, uh, a movie wouldn't have existed. It was something that he wanted to make. And I just, it was, I'd never written anything before. And it was a kind of a, an experiment. Um, you know, my relationship with Larry is a little complicated, but I, I, I think he's a great photographer. I really do. I think he's, uh, he's w one of my favorite artists. And I learned a lot from him, especially uh, at that time in my life. Uh, um, yeah, he was, uh, he was, yeah. Are you still friends? You know, I wish the guy good. Uh, I hope. I hope. <laughs> I hope yeah, you know. Happy, is it one of those happy had, trails? I have nothing. To, you know. Yeah, yeah. She is. I only hope. Is it one of those things where I mean, it happens quite often where people are, get into very intense artistic collaborations and it kind of like blows out. You know, there's that in there maybe, <clears throat> and also personal things, and uh, you know, life gets crazy. Yeah. And uh, Jesus, you know. <laughs> You don't know which way to turn, and you know. Next thing you know, you get smacked in the face, and <laughs> or, or I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so, um, like, 